you know you can use your USA Communications remote to control multiple devices? We'll walk you through how to do just that by programming your TV, cable box, and DVR. For this demonstration, we will use one of the most common remotes. We will use a few different styles of remotes, but the programming instructions are very similar for each one. If you are using a Motorola remote, use the following steps, except do not hit the OK slash SEL button. Programming your remote to control your TV will allow you to power your TV on and off, control the volume and switch the inputs. Please note that once your remote control is programmed to your TV and cable box or DVR, it can only be used for that equipment, unless they are the exact same brand and model. Let's get started with programming the remote to change channels and turn the TV on and off. On the top of your remote, find the TV button. Next, locate the OK slash SEL button. This button can be found in the middle of four directional arrows. Once you have found these buttons, press both at the same time and hold down for five seconds. When you release the buttons, the TV light should be on. Now, press the channel up button until the TV shuts off. Finally, press the TV button again. The light should blink three times and then turn off. This means that your remote is now programmed to control the channels and power your TV. Now we will go over how to program your remote to control the volume. Locate the TV and OK slash SEL buttons again. Press both at the same time and hold down for five seconds. When you release the buttons, the TV light should be on. Next. Press the volume up button once. The TV light should blink. Finally, press the TV button again. This means that your remote is now programmed to control your TV's volume. Next, we will use the same steps to program the remote to your cable box or DVR. Locate the CBL and OK slash SEL buttons. Press both at the same time and hold down for five seconds. When you release the buttons, the CBL light should be on. Now press the channel up button until the cable box or DVR shuts off. Finally, press the CBL button again. This means that your remote is now programmed to control your cable box or DVR. Below this video is a link to the manuals of our remotes. If you need more help, click on the picture of your remote to be guided to the operating manual. For additional help, please contact our technical support.